good evening since the last few days i was getting calls from junior regarding one common query uh, since the neat ss results are out and counseling are awaited many post md residents are having the doubt with related to dm nephrology so i thought of come up with the video or a couple of videos to sort out their queries first is regarding my journey to dm nephrology i have completed md from ramana loyo hospital from 2015 to 18 after that i did one year sr ship then subsequently i entered dm nephrology in the same hospital in 2019 and completed by 2022 during that time the entrance is not common similar to this year where we have to give the entrance as per the uh, subject only like you have to select the subject prior then only you can give the entrance it was like that during that time and this year since it was a open uh, exam that you can take any field after uh, getting a rank so that's why i think most of the juniors are having multiple doubts whether to take in a pro endo cardio or gastro so first why i switched from cardio to nephro since after working not only me in md residency for 3 years many of us doesn't like to have a hectic lifestyle in their uh, super specialty or in their subsequent uh, uh, phase of life so that's why i have left cardio then i have selected rheumat endo and nephro so rheumat because of the very less seats i dropped and subsequently i'll have only two option which is nephro and endo when you asked what are the thoughts i have during that time was if you take uh, endo and nephro without nephrologist it is very difficult to run the hospital and also for getting the clearances for contrast related imaging like mri ct and even the surgeries nephrologist is must whereas most of the things handled by dm endocrine can be easily handled by physicians also and uh, nephrology offers a uh, variety of options like interventions transplant if you want to run only the opd that is also possible diabetes hypertension most of them have to come to nephrologist where we can easily manage those things and uh, diabetes hypertension related complications are very common renal stone disease and with respect to dm endocrine yes there are a lot of advantages also i thought of coming up with a separate video with my batchmate who have completed dm endocrine if possible within this week i will try to come up with that regarding the advantage and disadvantage but in 2019 those were my thoughts while taking dm nephrology because of that dependability on dm nephrologist and the variety this offer like as you want to have a, a like more busy lifestyle you can opt for transplant or if you want to do more of intervention that is also possible or if you want to have passive like lifestyle with only opd that is also possible these were my thoughts during that time what were duty hours during dm nephro these are the subsequent question i added as per my juniors question the duty hours since uh, you are switching from md to dm yes it is little bit heavier but manageable since you have completed dm sorry since you have completed md not only my immediate juniors around three batch of juniors i have seen almost most of them or even in our batch also we had a thought of leaving the dm within 3 months so that is very common because of the hectic schedule but we always advise the juniors stick to that you will get adapted to it to it and you can easily manage because while during dm you might have thought Uh, sorry while during md you might have thought md postings are heavier but once you enter dm you will come to know how light md is yes it feels heavy but doable so don't worry with respect to the duty as during dm and the rest uh, next is regarding the what are the postings you will get during dm compared to md where you will get posting with respect to ward icu and uh, sometimes super speciality postings whereas in dm nephrology you will get a variety of postings like dialysis nephrology general ward nephrology icu pre transplant posting post transplant ward 
and the periphery periphery means where you have to see the references from other department in the center where i completed my dm on an average day around 22 30 reference might be there so starting from gynec medicine surgery everything you have to handle and uh, yes the postings are varied and uh, intervention posting also so during dm you will be posted under these uh, categories starting from transplant dialysis as i told how much doubt that junior person was having he was like dissecting the subject uh, wherever possible so he was having the doubt whether md thesis and dm thesis is there any difference yes it is doable but it warrants a little bit more research more work than your md thesis and uh, since they ask for publication since it have to be get published so dm thesis of little bit more standard than the md one and a few institutes might require two theses for example sgpj whatever i heard uh, during my time they were saying two two theses have to be completed even in ilbs delhi for dm hepatology or DM, they have to complete uh, two theses but thesis should not be a criteria to select the subject whether it is difficult or easy once you enter into dm nephrology anyhow you will do and it is doable also so don't worry with respect to thesis the juniors out there okay regarding the study load uh, you have to complete the standard textbook of uh, nephrology fehali and other than that few guidelines and uh, mostly i tell it from up to date and a few journals you have to complete and compared to other specialties like endo cardio neuro nephrology yes you have to study but and it is manageable only not to a very high level since you have completed md with harrison the study load is very manageable i won't say it is very difficult uh, one part i want to mention here is transplant since during your md times you are not exposed to transplant uh, transplant might be a entire new set of things like pre transplant transplant and post transplant infection you have to study a little bit more with respect to that and i won't particularly say the study load is high for dm nephro no manageable and what are the interventions during your residency or a dm nephrologist do first is dialysis catheter insertion non tunnel 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 is also called as permacath in igv femoral lines since uh, wherever dm nephrology you are going to take that might be a tertiary center in that state you will be getting lot of obstructor veins so during your uh, nephrology posting you will be in and out exposed to blood 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 so be prepared for that other than the dialysis catheter insertion renal biopsy post transplant kidney biopsies peritoneal dialysis in and out about the dialysis unit regarding the dialysis machine or a plant you have to be aware and the av fistula creation and the handling the av fistula complication like neurism sudden av fistula bleed and all many centers av fistula being given to the surgeon but the center where i did av fistula being handled by the nephrologist so these are the intervention that you will be like doing during your dm residency and regarding the transplant posting many centers offers for 3 to 6 months where you will be uh, exposed to pre transplant transplant and post transplant things this posting is somewhat heavier than the other posting since you have to get the clearances you have to make the patient fit the next patient have to be ready and uh, in the post transplant infections are common this posting during your dm nephrology is very important and they try to take in the center where transplant is there many a center offer dm where transplant is not there but what is the problem in completing dm nephrology from those center is you have to do fellowship in transplant to understand the basics and to get the confidence in managing those cases one junior rank is in average where he won't get a dm nephro in delhi where he will be getting dm nephro in peri peri colleges and he was having the query whether to take dnb in delhi or not my suggestion is 
it is better than doing two years of bond and to work for a less salary than to take bnb in a good center where you are given a, enough opportunities for intervention transplant is there crrt is there for example bnb nephro in gangaram is way too good rather than going for a bm nephro in periphery where and the bond is there and stipend is also less so try to speak with the seniors or immediate seniors over the hospital or the college and try to get the idea and another query is regarding the pass rate if your knowledge in the subject is good passing is not difficult in bnb nephro uh, many centers are having 100 percent pass rate also so don't worry regarding the pass rate while selecting this bnb nephro versus bm nephro even in my batch i guess the rank 12 took dnb in gangaram rather than going for some uh, dm in uh, periphery centers i don't know what is the particular reason but yes the top rankers can also choose DN, dnb and with respect to dnb uh, colleges which offer good transplant intervention for nephrology if time permits within 10 days i will try to come up with the uh, order of colleges for dnb nephro and for dm nephro after discussing with my batchmates and whoever uh, completed dnb my juniors and my seniors where to select and my suggestion is try to select where there is no bond would set stipend and the place should have transplant posting and intervention should be given to the residents and the crrt if available well and good and then the drawback i already told if transplant is not there you might not feel confident subsequently you might have to do fellowship so as per the rank you can decide upon since the video is getting lengthy i will stop here in the next video i, I thought of coming up with the uh, dm nephro versus cardio advantages and disadvantages what are the post residency options for dm nephro and difficulties i faced during dm residency this and all we will see in the subsequent videos okay bye bye